How to publish your Shopify store. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we'll be taking a look at how you are going to publish your Shopify store and I have a bunch of other tips and tricks I would love to share with you guys. So it's going to be like an all-in-one tutorial. So let's get into it. Now to get started, here are a few recommendations I have for you guys whenever you are building your Shopify store. Obviously, before it is ready, never ever publish your store. If your store looks like this, don't publish it. It's not ready yet. Secondly, if you are dropshipping items, make sure that you have set up proper shipping methods and you have actually, you know, uh, contacted your suppliers with the shipping rates that they are going to provide you with because the shipping rates that they are going to provide you with you want to list them on your shopify store so for that go into your settings then go into shipping and delivery and then from here you're going to add all the locations you offer shipping to all your destinations you know local delivery local pickup customizations saved packages so any kind of package delivery you offer and you also have you know multiple different fulfillment services you can hire so make sure you have set those up before you move forward to the next step of your Shopify store. Next up is your products. Now, a lot of people are using Shopify to start their dropshipping business. If you are one of those people and you are using AliExpress as a dropshipping you know, supplier, that is fine if you're using an integration like these is, even I am using it currently to build this sample store. You know, CJ dropshipping, these is whatever it might be. It's absolutely fine that you're doing it. However, after some time, after you build like a steady audience, so if you're getting like five, six orders every day, then I recommend you move forward to a trusted supplier with a direct contact. There are multiple different agencies that are providing direct contact with your suppliers. And I would recommend moving uh, away from dropshipping platforms like this and moving to an agency like that or directly contacting suppliers. This can usually give you a 10 to 15% discount on the already listed prices on these platforms. Plus, you also get things like extended, you know, uh, product quality. You have good quality control over your products. You also can get, you know, once you establish a connection with your supplier, you can actually build a uh, customized product. You can add customization to basic products. You can have more premium packaging. You can also have, you know, uh, shorter delivery times for international deliveries. Most of these deliveries are going to be international because you want to target, you know, the uh, United States or Europe or Canada. So you want to get deliveries to those customers as soon as possible. So it's super, super amazing if you are going to build a direct connection. They usually give you a delivery within 6 to 12 days, which is very, very short in comparison to the normal fulfillment time that they take. Now, moving on to setting up your publishing. So once you have some of these basic things covered, you can go into your settings on the bottom left. Then you can actually see your, you know, page information, all that. So you actually can't publish your store from here. You want to close this up because this is for changing items and we know changing things in pre-existing stores. But to publish your page, you actually want to click on online store on the left side of your screen. Then you want to click on preferences. Once you click on preferences, you want to add a title and meta description. Your title is usually, you know, the thing that will appear in search engines. So when someone searches on Google for dead and clothing, uh, they are going to search for me because that's going to be my homepage title. You also want to add a meta description. So this is very essential for SEO optimization to make sure that your page appears on different search indexes. Then you can, you know, skip through these other parts if you don't need them. So we're just going to skip through. And then you have the last section called password protection. So uh, it also has spam protection. Uh, I'm going to discuss this later on. But what you're going to do is to allow your page to be public or to get your page published. You want to remove this by unselecting this option over here. And then you have spam protection. So uh, I like to remove spam protection usually. It doesn't really affect me because I don't face a lot of spam on my e-commerce stores. So I like to remove that. Once you've done that, you're going to click on save. And just like that, you are ready. So your store is open for business. Now, once you've done that, you will be able to click on view store 
and this is now a public store anyone can visit it even without a password uh you can start selling to your customers you can start you know advertising on social media you can build you know your store launch you can promote it on social media now once you have published your store you can even make it private later on so let's say i have published my store and i have several bugs that i did not realize so i can do the same thing go into online store go into preferences and reselect this click on save on the top right and this will make my store private again so only people with the password will be able to access my store now a few more things that i do recommend that you guys do is when you go into your order section you have fulfillment now make sure you actually set up your fulfillment process with your supplier it's very essential a lot of people don't do that they don't know if the supplier is going to function like so and in terms of useful applications i do recommend you go into your checkout and set up your checkout with sms uh, as your preferred way of communication and you go into apps and sales channels click on your shopify app store and i recommend using pagefly so pagefly is a landing page builder this can help you a lot in setting up you know interesting pages and making your website you know look very different and very unique in comparison to all the other shopify stores that are out there i also recommend going with a checkout page upsell they are super easy to set up they are available for free i recommend upsell pop-ups email and marketing and also after sell both of these are amazing i find them to be super helpful in increasing the sales you get and being able to sell multiple different products at once after your store launches so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with publishing your own shopify store make sure to keep these tips in mind and i have some detailed videos on how you can import products from aliexpress how you can import products from amazon and so much more on the channel so make sure to check those videos out as well if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like and if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below. And if you have any specific topics that you look forward to, also leave those in the comment box down below and I will try to make videos on those as well. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos. And if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else, make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well. And if you find that there is something missing, I will try to figure out a way to an integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video